I can't tell you how happy I am. And then to watch the emotion you had yesterday, it was just incredible. W- walk me through what you were thinking, if you don't mind, Coach. Oh, I don't mind at all, man. I'm, I'm a man to admit that I did cry like a baby because of the fact that, you know, this is a special moment for me to have a chance to come back to my alma mater and coach at a school that I truly enjoyed and loved, that had a big impact on my life growing up, uh, to help me to mold, mold me into the man I am today. Uh, and you know this, going to the University of Michigan, spending time on this campus, getting a chance to meet people and grow, uh, learn how to navigate your way through life. Michigan teach you every all that stuff and some. So when I reflect back on all I've been through to get to this point where I am today, I couldn't help but to get emotional because I worked extremely hard, um, prepared myself for moments like this, and now – to have a guy like President Mark, as well as Ward Manuel, to trust and believe in me, to give me this chance and opportunity, you know, it was just a, a touching moment. Well, I mean, it's it's not just, uh, you know, you preparing for the moment as a coach. Uh, the moment in time as well that you're arriving is remarkable as well, where John Beeline, after a, rem- a, a very successful run, uh, shocks a bunch of uh, us in the, uh, in the fan base by leaving – and then also what you represent in terms of bringing everybody together um, after what happened with the Fab Five, it, it kind of is. A re- you've got a lot of responsibility outside of the X's and O's, it seems. Juwan, do you feel that? You know, I embrace I embrace the responsibilities. I embrace uh, being a leader. I embrace uh, trying to find ways to just help, you know, bring and get the gaps of wherever the holes are to help help try to fill those holes you know i've always uh been been the kind of person that's you know never looked at it as i i i uh we a family and that's something that uh this university always represent that's something that i've always learned as a growing up in a household with my grandmother and you know mom and dad being a part of my life to help mold me into an individual that cared about people uh so if that's what we have to, you know, find ways to figure out how to accomplish those goals and seeing where we can just help build relationships and keep relationships going, uh, I'll, I'll definitely get in the forefront and, and get on the front line and try to help it make it all possible. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.